Good morning. It's so quiet because I have all of the music turned off. I have everything in the house turned off (laughs) to conserve the internet. (laughs) So fingers crossed that this works and that we don't have any interruptions today. I'm also a little bit late because, listen to this, I ordered some new fingernail colors and they've just messaged to say that my parcel will be here at 1025. So I just had to go put a note on the door like, I'm here, but I'm in a meeting. (laughs) So please leave my parcel. (laughs) Don't, don't take it away. (laughs) Hello, hello. Okay, I'll stop rambling. How are we today? Today we're going to do the wood. So we've got these, this little five pieces here, and we've got these two pieces right here. So my thing for this is I would like to do, because wood is kind of like a jagged, it's kind of like the same look as this. What I would like to do is like a really long kind of split stitch for uh, this part, the long, the wood part. Okay. So like a long split stitch. I'm not talking like really short, tiny ones, like make your stitches longer. And then I want to go back in with just one strand and put a couple little pieces of uh, lightness in there. So we've got this kind of thing going on. And then at the very ends, you're going to do it, um, we can do it around, in a circle if you want to, but I'm just going to make mine straight across like that. And again, if you need to make them a little less wonky, then this is the time to do that. So I hope it'll work. I hope it'll look a little bit like the mantle. I'm hoping, but like not exactly the same. So we'll see. It's way too quiet in here. This is just, this is just atrocious. Good morning, everybody. I'm so excited. Um, Also, I just want to give a really quick thank you to everyone who got one of the kits. I am absolutely blown away by how many people bought a kit, honestly. I thought that more people would get the like individual kits, like maybe two or something. Um, but so many people got the the mega kit. And I was like, oh, wow. I'm so excited. I'm like a little kid being like, oh my gosh, I have to start making all of these things right now. <laughs> okay, let me take my sweater off and let's go. Let's get stitching. So I tend to start with the background first with these if I'm doing something that's overlapping because then these here can actually cover up any of the little stitches that you might find there. So we're going to do, like I said, a long, we're going to do a long split stitch. So we will be splitting these little ones. If you don't want to do a split stitch, you could just do a satin stitch if you wanted to. But I think if we do a long split stitch, it'll give a bit of texture. It'll make it look like, you know, it'll make it look like it's got some, like, bark on it, you know? You could also do, because this is such a dark color, you could also do, like, one, uh, like, row of split stitch and run one just satin stitch if you wanted to like mix it up a little bit, make it so that it's not, not all the same, you know, but I hope it will give the effect that I'm looking for. So we'll see about that. Um, real quick on the kits because it's three strands. One thing about the kits, because, um, Susie's just said I have to do that today. So excited for those tiny hoops. Um, So we only plan to have like a really limited number like of each one. So a limited number of each individual kit and a limited number of um, like the mega kit. And I can say that right now there's seven 
mega kits left. So if you would like a mega kit to get all five ornaments, um, I would suggest going to purchase that now. I'm actually trying to see if we should add a couple more, but I would almost rather sell out than have a bunch left over. You know what I mean? Jessie's decided she has to go out, but it's just not going to happen. So it's three strands. I know you can't see this very well, but I can't use a lighter brown because my basket is brown. And now, if you don't like uh, the wood vibe for this, you could always turn it into blankets. So if you wanted to, um, you could do each of these as a different rolled up blanket, and that would look really nice too. Which, in that case, I would probably use different stitches. Um, maybe like a chain stitch or something like that. But I wanted these to be wood. So, it just depends on what you like. I know some people in the um, Facebook group, they've changed. They've put like a little gnome at the top here. Or they've taken the tree out and put something else. It's so clever. So, if you've if you've got an idea and you're like, oh, actually... It would be nice to have it like this way then just then do it then just try like the worst thing that would happen is that you don't like it you can take it out and then you can make it like everybody else's you know or you could change and make a different idea so it's okay don't worry Either the parcel force guy is here. Nope. She's just going to go. She's going to go lay down. Yeah, I went and put a no outside. I was like, I'm here. Please don't leave with my package. I want it. <laughs> okay, so let's do the rest of this with the longer split stitch. I used a lot of long, well, shorter ones up there. But hopefully, it'll give the look that I want it to. Um, you could also do an outline with these if you really want to. If you feel like all the darkness is going to be a bit too dark for you. Like maybe it will look, um, you know, like just like a hodgepodge of wood. Although, that's kind of what I want it to look, look like. So... <laughs> We'll just see. We'll see what happens. You can always strategically place your light colors as well. Um, and then, yeah, make it work that way. What nail stuff did you get? So I've had the same. Um, normally I use, uh, it's a powder, a powder dip kit. I know I've posted about it before. And I used to work with um, Dipwell when I could go back to the States because they don't ship to um, England. But I actually found a different company called Rossi Nails, R-O-S-S-I, and they have a, like a European website. So, yeah, I've got a couple colors from them last year in their, like, Black Friday sale, and they're actually really nice, so... I've ordered some more because I have all like nude colors. They're just all a bit a bit boring. I know I spoke about it earlier in the um in the stitch along about maybe it was yesterday actually about how like I never choose bright colors. So I got some like real dark ones. And some ones that like I probably wouldn't uh pick you know like if it was if it was me if it was just me I probably wouldn't pick that but I was like do you know what because I use them all the time I'm just gonna do it and I was almost out of the liquids too so I topped up the liquids as well but everything I think is like 50% off well it was um if you use the code wow 50 so I'm not sure if it's still like that or not but um, yeah, if you're interested in nail stuff, I'm not a very good influencer. <laughs> I'm just going to do this one and fill it in with brown and then I'll show you how I do the, um, 
the light, you know, on top of it. The light colors. Good morning, Veronica. Can you stop licking, please, man? That sounds disgusting. Jesse. Jesse. Okay, good. Good girl. So yeah, hopefully, I'll show you all the colors if you want, if you're interested in that kind of a thing. I really like these because they're really easy and um, they don't chip or anything and they stay on for ages. So I don't have to worry about like my nails for the videos. And if you remember, if you're like, if you've been here for a really long time, um, I started doing this because someone said my nails were ugly. <laughs> But I had really ugly nails. And they were like, for an embroidery artist, you have really ugly nails. And I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> Cheers, my dear. <laughs> so, um, yeah, from then on, I was like, oh, okay. I should probably, like, paint them or something. Uh, but I'm just really hard on my hands. Like always having broken nails or always chipped nail polish like and this is so easy like it takes I don't know 35 minutes probably to put it all on and then it lasts about two weeks I mine don't last that long because I smash them and stuff like I always smash my fingers or my nails or doing dishes, like I'm always doing something. So I'm like really hard on them. So they last about 10 days for me. I always wanted dip well because of you, but you can't get it here. I have seen Rossi, but I haven't tried it. I can't do my nails cause of work. Oh yeah. Can you have even like clear nail polish on? That's so rude. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's so unnecessary and mean. Yeah, mummy, <laughs> mummy, that is so rude. That's so funny. Yeah, and it's like some people they they don't they don't mean it like that. Do you know what I mean? They don't mean they don't mean what they say, or they don't mean it to come off like that. But like sometimes when you've already got a bit of like a thing about it, because I've always had like really thin nails. Uh, anyways. But, yeah, I was like, oh, wow, okay, yeah, maybe they've got a point here. Um, but actually, I found uh, the, the Dipwell nails, which I really, really like. I will say, though, that the Rossi nails ones, um, they have, because the Dip Dipwell has a glass bottle, and I find that oftentimes the... Um, caps will get stuck on them like really like it's hard to get them off and maybe that was just me or I don't know but I've had a couple where they've like dried funny and then you can't take the caps off and that's not happened with the Rossi Nails ones so yeah I took advantage of their sale and they had some colors there I know I just keep talking about this gosh they had some colors there that were all um like 70% off as well. So like a whole kit. So you get like six or six different colors, I think, for like seven pounds. So I was like, well, I'll just get some a couple of those. Why not? Hi, Jess. Jess says, good morning. I don't get to catch lives because of work. But I just wanted to say I'm loving it so far. Oh, I'm so glad. Let's see here. Yeah. Okay, so... I'm just going to take one strand of this and this is kind of what I was talking about um, earlier when we did the mantle on the very first day was you could do it two ways. You could either mix the colors on your needle and stitch it like that or you could do it afterwards. So let's see if we can get this. Hold on. Can you see the texture that's in there now? Yeah, so I'm just going to go in with just one strand. I'm using a smaller needle. This is the one I was using before. If you can tell the difference, it's just a little bit bigger. This one is a little bit bigger. Oh, she's got a question too. 
What's the best way to unravel a new thread as I always get in knots trying to open them? Are you talking about new skeins of thread? Like this? There's normally um, a number side, a number side and the other side. And the trick is to find the right one. So oftentimes you'll have one that's sticking out and oftentimes it's the other one that you need to find. Um, but there is a trick to it and it's, it's either one way or the other and I can't remember which one, which way it is because I don't do it like that. Um, cause I put them on the pegs. So I actually don't pull them out from here like that. Instead, I take them off like that and then I open the circles because it's just a one big circle. Okay. Like that. And then I take it out like this way and then wind on the peg. So I actually don't pull them out that way. Veronica says that she thinks with DMC, it's the number side that you pull. I have a feeling it's the number side too, actually, because I always think it's the other one. I always think it's the one that's a kind of out at the top here. And I have a feeling it's this one down here that you pull, but yeah, give it a go and try. All right. So I just got the one strand here. Let's put that on my needle. And then with one strand, I always do the quilter's knot because otherwise. Okay. A couple other people have said, yes, it's the number side. So I'm assuming that that's correct. It's kind of like Jenga tug it gently. And it's the only one that comes out easily. Yep. <laughs> yes, that's exactly how to explain it. <laughs> you guys are so smart. What's going on with the camera? It's like, it's, it's like, okay. So we've got our one strand here. I'm just going to start from the side. And this is what I mean by you can kind of strategically place some of these. These long pieces like this, depending on how many like wood grain bits that you want. You know? Mel's just said, but some brands are different, and that is a good point too. Is that if you have DMC, then you know, you're good to go. But if you try other brands, you might have to do um what what's your face said? Sarah, do the Jenga slightly pull, and if you find that it's not coming out, then that ain't the one, hun. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this just depends on if you want to have like a wood grain type situation in it or not um or if you want to just have it look really smooth obviously if you want it to be smooth then I wouldn't do the um satin stitch at all I mean this this oh my god Jamie T help me I wouldn't do the split stitch at all. I would do a satin stitch instead because that would give you a nice, smooth piece of wood. So many jokes I could make right now. Um, but yeah, I want mine to be kind of like rough and to show a bit of wood grain. So I'm just making some long, some long pieces in here. And you can make these as many or as little as you want, or as long or as big as you want. Okay. I think that looks pretty nice. Disclaimer. <laughs> so we were talking this morning and I said, um, me and Jamie T were talking this morning and I said that half the time I'm not saying the right words that I want to say that I swear to goodness, this baby is like stealing all of my brain. And she's like, you need to do a disclaimer at the beginning of your lives that just say, I am pregnant. So you know, like those see those things like what you see is what you might, what you get might be what you, what's the thing? What you see might, what you get might be different than what you see. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, sure. 
we'll go with that. Baby brain in action. <laughs> Literally. What did I see the other day to David? And he was like, what are you talking about? I think I said something like, do you want... We were like making pasta and I said, do you want me to get the water out? And he's like, what? I was like, do you want me to get the water out? You know, like for the, like in the, to put in the pasta. And he's like, get the water out. (sighs) Do you mean like turn it on? I was like, yeah, that's what I mean. (laughs) It's not my fault. I swear. So in essence, this is what I had in in my mind whilst we were I was, you know, coming up with the My daughter is seven and I still have this problem. Well then I have something, an excuse at least, because I also told Jamie T, I'm at the best of times, I'm not the best. <laughs> like half the time when I'm saying things here, I'm like, people are going to go on these stitch longs and be like, she seems nice, but she's not the smartest. (laughs) Like, I swear I am. I am smart guys. I promise. I just keep adding more. I can't stop. And you could add darker ones too. So if you wanted to add like a a darker color and like really make it like, you know, really make it, do you know what I'm saying? You could do that too. So you can get as carried away with these as you want to really. Um, It just depends. It just depends on... I knew I had a big fat knot back here. Hey, 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 stop licking. Thanks. That's all right. Of course you can mix the, the colors on the needle again if you want to. It just depends if you want it to have this kind of look where it's all over or if you want to have it just a little bit. So I would probably add a lot more to this and I would probably add another color to do just a little bit more. Make it a little bit more, not blended, but do you know what I'm saying? If that's what you want. Let's see here. When I was pregnant, I left the apartment holding my pajamas. I literally got halfway down the block with them draped over my arm. (laughs) Oh, I think we need some. I think I need to, in my stories, do like pregnancy stories because I think that would be funny. Good night, Mal. Have Have a good sleep because you should be sleeping. It's like the middle of the night for her. Now, don't forget, we're also going to do these two logs that are inside the fire. So, please don't forget those ones. Um, And just real quick, for the circle part at the end. Oh, you guys are so sweet, all saying goodnight. That's so nice. What is happening here? Okay, I put the needle eye, I mean pointy bit, through the knot and then pulled it out. (laughs) Typical. Typical, typical. Okay, and then let's do these ones down this way. So yeah, I'm happy to show you the colors if you want, or I can just show them to Jamie T. Send a message if no one else is really interested. But yeah, I'm excited because I think I haven't got new colors since, well, I got some last year. 
um, in the Black Friday sale last year. And then before that, it was like summer 2019, I think. Before Corona and couldn't go home to my other home. So yeah, this next summer is going to be so interesting because I'll be going back home for the first time in like two and a half years, but also I'll bring my baby. So I hope they love it. <laughs> hope they love it at the lake. It's going to be so fun. Come on. Totally should have done the one behind this one, but I just couldn't resist. I should have done the one behind this one first, but I just couldn't resist doing it. So who wouldn't love it? I'll have to give the baby back if they don't. I'll have to be like, you're not my, you can't be my baby. I've, they've been switched at birth. <laughs> oh. It's going to be such a good time. I'm so excited. I have to be like, can I, can I have a different one, please? <laughs> okay. Another knot. Let's just sort this out here. Grandparents, unconditional love. Yes. What is going on here? I'm like the queen of knots today. I've already poked myself like four times trying to finish a custom hoop for one of my friends. Um, her friend got married. And so I'm doing that for her. And then, yeah, so I was like, I'm just going to finish this up real quick. I've just got the leaves to do. And I swear I had like eight knots. I poked myself in the finger like four times, like blood coming out and everything. I was like, oh, do I need to give up today? I can't give up today. I'm going to cut a bunch of fabric for the mini kits and make all the boxes up. I'm so excited. Fold the bags for the mega kits. Oh. I do love packing kits, though. So there we go. And then I also need to find, because I have an idea for the rug, but um, I'm kind of trying to figure something else out because I don't want to use the same things I've done before. So obviously, if you, um, I'm not stitching right now. I'm browsing the Rossi website. If you are in England, though, make sure you go to the, the .eu um, because they sent me an email. So I followed their email to the sale and added a bunch of stuff to my cart and was about to check out. And they were like, I'm sorry, we don't ship to the UK. And I was like, um, you're lying because I bought stuff from here last year. So I know it's. I know it's going to happen, but make sure you go to .eu and not .com because um, they have different colors as well. So there's that. Or maybe the other ones were just sold out because I tried like recreating my order on the new website, on the other website. And they were like, nothing, that does not exist. And I was like, oh. Okay, that's all right. And remember, these don't have to be, like, they're pieces of wood, so they don't have to be, like, exactly symmetrical or anything like that. They can just be, you know, like how they are. So if you have one end that's, like, quite pointy and not, um, like, round, like, it's okay. Meaning, like, if you wanted to even extend this out a little bit and make it a little bit like, oh, it's a cracked piece of wood, you know? 
Because it's been burnt. It's been burnt by the flame. That's okay. Okay, so she's on the EU one, and they have the sale on still. So that's good. Yeah, let me know if you got anything. I don't think I... I don't know if I have, like, a referral code or anything, actually. But I tend to just stock up when they've got a sale. And then, yeah. It's nice, though, because then I don't have to do my nails ever. And when I do, it's, like, a proper, like, me time. Like, I put a little film on and, like, sit and sit and do it, you know? It's nice. God, it's like so quiet. Yeah, I don't know why that when I kept going to like search for them, it kept taking me to the American one. And I was like, no. You don't understand. <laughs> because last time I ordered from the... Do you know what I think it is? I think with Brexit, they shut down the um, UK site. Because they used to have a UK one. So just real quick. That's what we've got so far. And then I'll get and add a couple more details with the light color. And then we'll call it a day. So we've got these two to do and then the ones in the basket as well. And then I'm thinking tomorrow we might do the gifts here like these three little gifts so we'll probably do some satin stitch maybe we'll see I hate just satin stitching everything it's so boring Needs must, I guess. I'm just sticking this straight, like tucking it in. So there's that almost out of this so I can go back to the later color colored one. Oh gosh I'm just taking it off I'll just do it yeah and then we'll call it a day why did I do it like that Call it a little day here. Can't decide if I want coal fire instead of the wood. Ooh, that could be fun. Like a real dark coal. I bet you could do some cool stitches with that too. Sometimes you don't need like a full outline. Sometimes it's just like the suggestion of an outline. You know, it's enough.
thought about padded satin stitch. Definitely. Definitely padded satin stitch if you wanted to make it look like actual pieces of coal. Like, almost like the stones or the grapes. But, like, stack them on top of each other. So you might have to do some, like, strategic, like, you know. You're good at drawing, so you can draw them. But you might have to do some strategic, like, you know. Hiding, hiding behind, something like that. And then put the fire kind of over it, like overlap a little bit, like that. That could be fun. I don't know if that's what you're thinking, but that's what my mind went to when you said that. Just try it. If you hate it, you can always rip it out. I think I'm definitely going to do a darker color on this as well. I feel like you can't tell so much in the in the video, but like the boulders, yeah, like the rocks in the um in the jungle one. I think it'll look a lot better with another color, but then also when the fire's on. Should we do the fire tomorrow or should we do the gifts? Oh man. I don't know. Now I kind of want to do the fire because I want to like add the fire to it and then it'll like complete the little scene. Do you know what I mean? I'll let you guys pick. If you want to do the fire or the gifts, just let me know and then we'll do that. We'll do that tomorrow. Like a choose your own adventure thing. Someone did ask about, um, like, what are we doing? What are we doing on Friday and doing on Monday? And the thing is, is that when I do the stitch alongs, I always plan, like, this will take a day. That'll take a day. That'll take a day. That'll take a day. That'll take two days or whatever. Um, but I often don't plan the actual stitches or the order other than, like, the background normally gets done first. Um, so that we can stitch on top of other things. Everyone's seeing fire, so we're gonna do the fire. For the fire, you're gonna need three different colors. That's what I'm going to use. And um, we're gonna do a little bit of thread painting, um, but not a lot, okay? Not a lot of thread painting. We're gonna do a little bit. It's like a fake, a fake thread painting. So you're gonna need three colors. I'm gonna use an orange, yellow, and red. So I will dig those out. I'll dig them out tonight. So I don't have to dig them out today. But actually, that orange I had earlier, that would be really nice, wouldn't it? And the yellow from the kit. Ooh! And we just need a red. To be fair, I haven't got a lot of really good reds. Because I don't really use, like, red a lot. Here's a red, but I don't think it's, like, red red. I think it's more like a pinky red. Maybe that's it then. Maybe these will be for tomorrow's fire. You know? Save the Christmassy colors for next week. Yes. We can do gifts. And like even with the gifts, they don't have to be Christmas colored. They can be like a blue, silver. Um, I like a brown craft paper when I do my, when I wrap my presents. Um, but with so much brown already, I'm probably going to stay away from brown. Um, purple some people really like purple for their gifts so it doesn't necessarily have to be red and green if you're like you know stuck okay let's zoom out and see what we've got because this has been 40 minutes i think it's gonna look really good you know i think it's gonna look good with the lines like that but i do think it needs another color so i think that's on me So I just need to add that one extra bit of pizzazz, you know? So there we go. I think it'll look really cute. Um, that's so cute. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> um, I think it'll look really nice with the fire on it as well because I feel like it will, will overlap just a little bit um, down here on the bottom, down like this, in this area right here. So... 
yeah, so that's what we've got for today. Um, actually, I need to download the videos from Tuesday, Wednesday, and today and put them on YouTube because I haven't yet. Um, because remember I told you before, Instagram has a different way of downloading the videos now and it takes so long. Um, but it's fine. It'll be fine because it uploads to YouTube really quickly now. So I feel like we've solved one problem and then have a different problem. <laughs> it's always like this on Instagram, you know. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Make sure that you tag me in your wood, in your wood pictures. Okay, please don't get dirty. I'm not trying to get like deleted. I'm talking about the basket. All right. Don't be nasty, guys. Um, and yeah, use the hashtag, hashtag the Barbie Fox S-A-L if you post a picture to your grid so that they can all be together and the hashtag. Um, and I promise I'll stop selling, but we're almost out of the kits. So if you would like a kit, grab them up, especially the mega kits. The other ones have, um, I think about 15 left on average, 15, one five. But the mega kits are almost gone. So if you're interested, go grab one. I'm going to try and get them shipped out as soon as possible. I'm just waiting for Lee to send me over the um, wire pieces, you know, so they I can complete the kits. So, yeah, that's it. So I hope you have a lovely Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. We'll do the fire. So you need those three colors. Um, and, yeah, that's it. So enjoy your day. And I'll speak with you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye.